Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Sandeep Vednikar, and you are watching One Universe, the talk show based on the nonprofit One Universe that promotes positivity through the promotion of love, peace, and harmony. So what exactly is love, peace, and harmony? We have talked about it on several shows, and many, many times we talk about some problems and issues when we know and we define the problems, when we understand what the problem is in the first place, it becomes easy to come up with a solution. So those are the issues that we talk about many, many times. However, today is really, really different. I have one of the esteemed people in the world uh, who, are, who is on our show, uh, welcome, Prahlad Dada Pai. Yeah. Uh, and you are uh, talking to us from India, and I am uh, in the US. So, good evening to you. Thank you for inviting me on the show. It is our honor and privilege um, that you agreed to be on our show. And, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I use these words of honor and privilege. Uh, not lightly at all. It truly is an honor because uh, Mr. Pralhat Pai or Dr. Pralhat Pai is, uh, is one person, one entity, uh, one phenomenal human being who is making change and lots of changes in this world. But before we get into that, uh, Dr. Pai, can you please introduce yourself for the benefit of our listeners? Uh, firstly, uh, thank you for inviting me on this show. Of and course. Let me clear that I'm not a doctor, but uh, in, other, in other words, I'm a doctor of mind, <laughs> you can say. So uh, my name is Prahlad Vaman Rao Pai. Uh, I'm son of a great philosopher and social reformer, Sadhguru Sri Vaman Rao Pai. Uh, my qualification, if you want to know, I am a BTEC in metallurgical engineering from prestigious institute in Mumbai, that is IIT. And then I did my uh, postgraduate in administrative management from Sir Jamnam Lal Bajaj Institute, Mumbai. Then I did uh, a diploma in total quality management from Japan. In fact, I am a quality professional all my life. Uh, I was always dealing with uh, quality, uh, health, in, uh, environment, and uh, other issues like safety and all. Very so good. I was a, a lead auditor also for ISO 9001 certification, ISO 14001 certification, ISO 18001 certification. So Very nice. throughout my whole life, I was I'm already always dealing with quality environment and safety very good very good so uh, there are um, a couple of things that uh, kind of come together uh, i have done metallurgy from college of engineering pune so uh, not as prestigious as iit mumbai uh, but definitely metallurgy uh, and instead of going to jamnalal bajaj i went to narsi monji for my management yeah. uh, but i am also involved with environment uh, and the third thing that uh, I am closely associated with is promoting positivity. Uh, yeah. You are in the midst of promoting uh, these things with the blessings of your father, Sadhguru Aman Rao Pai. Yeah. But you have gone further and beyond uh, things uh, that he has uh, achieved. So he has... He laid the foundation. So we will talk about that. Yeah. Um, is there anything that um, you can share about your family also? Yeah, to our sure. Listeners? Uh, my father was also a graduate and uh, he has worked in Sachivalai, that is a government institute as a deputy secretary to finance department. And uh, while working only, he has done all this uh, spirituality, you can say, or he has developed this Jivan Vidya philosophy uh, while he was working. So he retired uh, in 1981. And then 
the everything flourished his work he was doing uh, of course more work after retirement and i am uh, only son and uh, one my sister is there and i also got only one son who is a, a gold medalist in imcom and then he has done really chartered nice. account chartered accountant he is very good and now he is also in a very prestigious company he is a general manager there and i also retired as a general manager in mnc what else well um, that should be uh, a good beginning yeah so let us start with uh, your father um, sadguru so uh, please i know what sadguru means but again and we have another sadguru jaggi also but please tell us what sadguru means sadguru means uh, in spirituality we always talk about satchidananda sat means being whatever you are talking about being or consciousness you can see so the one who is one with the sat that is your own self true self or you can in simple language you can say who is self realized that person is called sadguru and sadguru is more than only self realized uh, person he is uh, he must be a good teacher also he must be able he must be able to uh give knowledge to the the other people so about this whole process so sadguru is not only a self realized person but he is always a, a good teacher you can say and he can give this spiritual knowledge to each and every one that is all sadguru is very good thank you so much you mentioned that uh, your father while working in uh, the government department was also giving discourses yeah. and and he eventually people liked him they liked what he was talking about it was very simple but it touched people not only their hearts but their mind body and soul and people started coming um, to his discourses a whole lot and then of course you said he did a uh, expanded after his retirement yeah so based on your knowledge of watching him uh, while you were growing what he achieved how he did that what is your take on how he achieved that from what i understand he did it all by himself uh, i have heard a couple of times that uh they invited him and he had not prepared or not done anything at all and just like impromptu he started talking and people loved what he said and what he had to share so what do you think actually catapulted him catap we will talk about him being catapulted later but at least getting him started to get into the domain of spirituality and giving discourses and sharing his knowledge to the people Yes, he he also had a sadguru Narayan Maharaj Sri Gondekar, and he got the uh, uh, knowledge from him. However, uh, in the beginning, he was uh, purely spiritual. He was talking on the purely spiritual uh, language because he had learned that much. And uh, but after some time, he found that only spirituality will not help to the common people. and that's why he thought of uh, he contemplated and he after so much of a deep contemplation he has come out with the jivan vidya philosophy and this jivan vidya philosophy he brought purposely for the common man because pure spirituality is not uh, everybody's cup of tea and uh, very true that he understood very well and he thought that spirituality also very important at the same time material life or worldly life what we call is also very important for the common people and uh, he thought that happiness is the most important goal of everybody everybody wants to become mm. happy true and true. he thought that real happiness in spirituality we also look for the happiness only because when we look for self realization what we look for it is a uh inner happiness inner joy and that is called bliss what we call as bliss so we always think of the happiness only 
only people in the worldly life they think of happiness that is object dependent and in spirituality we think of happiness which is inner inner happiness so very finally, good very good finally mm -hmm. both the people means spiritual people and the uh, material life people they want the same thing that is happiness and sadguru has uh, contemplated very much on this and what he thought that if you give spiritual dimension to your material life if you give the spiritual wisdom to the material life material life itself will become like a spiritual and Very you will nice. exactly what happiness you are searching for because every person is searching for the happiness but he doesn't get that happiness because he is not aware what is the happiness at the same time he is not aware where to search for the happiness that is only difficulty for the common people to become happy so sadguru has solved this problem where to search how to search and what to do exactly and what is me what is meant by happiness he has explained this in very good uh, good language and terms so people liked it and people found this jivan vidya philosophy as a practical because it is it was giving the results to the people finally people want results people are not interested in your philosophy and all people want the results correct and those results people get it people like it so he has uh, propounded this jivan vidya philosophy which is very connected to individual you can you can uh, always feel that it is your philosophy because it can be used on in day to day life in corporate life in family life everywhere you can use that and become happy very good and uh, just for the benefit of our uh, american Uh, listeners and also listeners from all over the world um, i would like to say jeevan means life and vidya means knowledge yeah. so it's the knowledge of life or the science of life um, that you should not only um, learn understand but also implement so he showed the way not only to learn and understand but also to implement that uh, for the benefit of each and every person every individual every family and uh, in the society so he has done um, a great job uh, over the decades uh, and his name and fame ha has spread all over the world in fact his name is also uh, mentioned so many times in the us uh, amongst yeah. his followers and he has a very good following and uh, you have done your part um, of expanding that following but before the expansion i would like you to elaborate how you uh, started to pursue this as as a, as a son of course it is very uh, understandable to each and everybody that okay your your father is a doctor and engineer um, many times then uh, the parents say oh you have to be a doctor engineer and and very true for indian uh, parents to do that but spirituality uh, and this knowledge of life Uh, which i would like to emphasize is called jivan vidya uh, was something that you saw growing up uh, and you breathed it you lived it uh, you ate and drank it uh, as you were growing up but what made you decide that you and and I, by the way i want to tell listeners iit is the premier institution for engineering in india and it is highly respected throughout the world all engineers coming out of iit are highly respected and they get phenomenally great jobs uh, in fact uh, many of the ceos uh, could it be sundar pichai or others are from iit so uh, you are definitely of that caliber but you being um, an engineer coming from a big institution uh, doing uh, management courses from big institutions and doing jobs in multinational companies um, at a very good position how is it that you got pulled i shouldn't say you got pulled uh, in a bad way but attracted you had the affinity and how did that get inculcated in you to take on that and follow through what your father had started yes very good question 
Uh, first thing you said rightly, Jivan Vidya. Jivan and Vidya, these are both Sanskrit words. Jivan is life and uh, Vidya is knowledge. So uh, we define Jivan Vidya is a science of life and uh, art of leading a prosperous, peaceful and successful and harmonious life. That is what is Jivan Vidya is. And uh, as as I told you earlier, I told you earlier that it is very practical. It is logical. See, I, I being an engineer, uh, I always look for the logical things. I need scientific uh, approach towards this. And being management person, I want to uh, uh, see as a from management point of view also how it can be managed in your life, how your life can be managed with this. So while uh, while listening to my father all over uh, my life i understood one thing that he is not he is not the person who has a blind faith in anything he, whatever he has propounded this philosophy he has put it very logically scientifically and he based this on the laws of nature so a root of this Jivan Vidya is the laws of nature. That means everything is based on the laws of nature. Everything, Sadhguru, whatever he has propounded, everything has been based on the laws of nature. And one thing is, I, I was uh, I was sure about it, is laws of nature are uh, equal for everybody. It is same. It is nothing to do with the location, nothing to do with the caste, creed, nationality, nothing. It is good for everybody because they are laws of nature. And science is also, what is the science? Science is when you find out the laws of nature, it becomes science. Am I right? It becomes science. So mm -hmm. because it is, it was scientific and because it was useful. See, I am always saying that it should be useful. I don't Very want true. So spiritual and sitting in the corner and just making some sadhana and practicing the meditation and all. And afterwards, uh, it is no use for anybody. So uh, finally, the person should get something out of it and it should be useful to his life. So when Sadhguru has put everything, he has deeply studied the spirituality. He has mm -hmm. studied the way the Upanishad, Bhagavad Gita, everything he has studied, all uh, saints, knowledge of saints. He has studied everything and then he has interpreted or he has put it in a, such a form that it is useful for everybody's material life. And that was the something different which I saw in my father. And then when uh, I was growing, then my other people, other trustees, see, we have got an organization called Jivan Vidya Mission in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. And we are registered Jivan Vidya Center USA, US in uh, California. So uh, this organization we have is run by the trustees. So I am one of the trustees. So uh, when it was being run by other trustees, they uh, told my father that your son should come in this uh, as a trustee so that it will be helpful for us to uh, expand this organization very well because he has got the management knowledge. He is a technical man. So he will be useful for our organization. So they told my father and they uh, then finally father agreed and I became the trustee. After I became the trustee, I thought of organizing it in the management fashion because really? my whole uh, nature is I am a management person. So right. I always feel that everything should be in a structured fashion, mm -hmm. structured way you should be given. So whatever I learned from my father about Jivan Vidya, I thought let us put it in a structured formats. So I started making the courses out of it, seminars, workshops, everything really I started good. making out of that original philosophy and I have given some corporate touch to that so because of that uh, today's youth they like Jivan Vidya very much because there is some corporate touch to that there is a management touch to that 
So, so a I lot have, of professionalism in it. Yeah. Yes, yes, you are rightly said. It is a professionalism. So whole uh, philosophy, uh, I started putting in a, a very structured format, a professional way. So that's why many people start getting attracted. And in my case, I like this because it is scientific. Because I I, do, I have no faith, I have no blind faith anywhere. I want to know, I will ask thousand questions before accepting it. And my father always uh, asked me, you asked me the why. He always invited me to question whatever you feel you question me. And mm. that way I always question, I argued with him and then I, I understood it very well. And then I try to implement it. And when I implement myself, myself, I thought the results are coming very well. My whole attitude changed. My whole uh, behavior changed. And it was uh, useful in my every, everyday life. So I thought, why not give it to others? And that's why uh, you can say that I joined this mission and started working in it. And not just very because good. I was son of my father. <laughs> Correct, correct, correct. So uh, we on our show talk about uh, this positivity that we we want to foster. Uh, not only want to, we actually do foster. And we talk about business dealings as well many times. We say that no matter what, um, everybody from the CEO to the general manager, the president, vice president, up to the janitor, everybody is a leader. Everybody can be a leader if they decide that they want to lead their job, their lives from a right perspective. We also talk that you could have an idea. An idea could not just be a million dollars worth, but it could be worth a billion dollars with a B, billion dollars. But that idea is totally worthless if it is not implemented. So you uh, having implemented all of these ideas, is definitely worth a billion and billions of dollars. And I say that not only because what you have done and expanded on what Sadhguru has done, your father has done, but because you implemented it in such a way that that message has traveled uh, to so many countries throughout the world. There are um, many, many followers and obviously... I would like to see to it that I become a part of and parcel of helping you expand in this realm. So um, you. I Thank have you. talked to you about I this think, uh, in I person. Think your, goal, your goal and our goal is same. That absolutely. Is what I, absolutely. When you say one universe, when you say one universe, we also say that, that whole universe should be uh, peaceful and whole universe should prosper and there should be peace in the world. And that is what is, and every uh, full mankind should be happy. That is what is our goal. So I think we are on the same platform. So Absolutely. we can definitely help each other to uh, grow this uh, knowledge uh, throughout the world. Right. So uh, I uh, made it a point uh, to say that we have talked about it and I'm mentioning is because I want to be on air to say that, hey, I am... Uh, I'm so impressed, thoroughly impressed with all the things that uh, your father and you have done that um, I will be a part and parcel of promoting it uh, to the Western world. Uh, also, much. yes, thank you. Um, and, and, and let us talk about environment. So one of my companies has to uh, do with the environment of making the environment better. Um, one company, uh, the slogan of my company is Dawn of Positive Impressions. And um, the other company, which is Renewable Energies Inc., has to, uh, the slogan of that company is uh, uh, Renewable Energies Inc., Sustainability for the Future. So it, it has to do with environment and uh, making good and and addressing lots of waste and, and pollution. But when you're talking about environment, please let our listeners know what are you talking about when you say environment? See, from the philosophical angle, what uh, Jivan Vidya says that 
all pollution that is uh, you can say sound pollution air pollution water pollution everything that is coming from the thought pollution so that is the concept what sadguru has put in jivan vidya what he says that everything what is all these pollutions are because of the thought pollution what is thought pollution you see wow. always there is the there is a real world which we are living in the real world but there is always a thought world and whatever thoughts we are in we are uh, thinking all those thoughts are going into the thought world and that thought world has become polluted because our thoughts have been polluted our thoughts are always very selfish we are not worried about others see what is the reason for all this pollution everybody thinks that i am uh, whatever i do it is for my good by my good i don't care for others that is the mm -hmm. attitude so they don't care for others they don't care for the uh, environment they don't care for anything they only they are only interested in themselves only so what sadguru says that what of i me and myself that should change unless that is change nothing will happen in the world so sadguru has said that we must change our attitude for i me myself to we ourselves we our and ourselves and then finally all not only i must think of myself i must think of everyone around me so that is what we call as a super positivity that means uh, when we say positive thought that means it is good for me but when i say super positive thoughts that means it is good for me definitely it should be good for me but at the same time it should be get it should be good for others also that is what is uh, super positivity so sadguru says that unless the thought pollution is uh, removed or you few uh, and that can be removed only by uh, putting it is by replacement theory if you want to remove the pollution you have to put more and more good things in the positivity thought. correct yes. yes so more and more positivity super positivity if you put in the thought world i think pollution will be reduced uh, definitely it will be reduced and for that we want to bring people from it's not it's, it's my life generally people are always talking about it's my life so what we say it is my, not my life it is not even our life it is life of all it is one life as you say one universe it is a one life so we have to bring people from that attitude selfish attitude to this super positive attitude then mm -hmm. we will always think of others so whenever we do anything what jivan vidya says that any action you do it may be at the level of thought it can be level of speech it can be level of action so whatever action you do you must always think that whether before you do the action think take a pause and see that is it good for me and is it good for society is it good for the environment it is good for the nation it is good for the world if it is good for the others it is good for the environment it is good for the society then you go ahead with that action otherwise Beautiful. stop that action if everybody start doing this and if you bring the super positivity in the lives of others i think uh, things will change drastically and that's why sadguru has brought this super positive affirmations so what sadguru says that a healthy life for all happy life for all peaceful life for all successful life for all and safe life for all so if you put this affirmation every day if you go on saying this affirmation every day in your head what will happen slowly slowly you will start changing your attitude from i me myself to all and once you think of all uh, we are, we always say that think of all to be grateful for so we always think of all and we always are grateful for each and every one in this world in this universe you can say and uh, that's the way uh, we intend to remove or reduce this pollution by removing the thought pollution or reducing the thought pollution 
by replacing it with the super positive thoughts. That is what we uh, intend to do. Very good. So uh, it is rightly said that um, thoughts uh, become uh, patterns yeah. and those patterns become habit. And, and then uh, inculcating those things in your life becomes second nature. So yes. uh, you have beautifully put it. So uh, thank you. And I actually wanted to ask you uh, a question which you have in, in many ways already answered. Uh, but still, I would like to um, ask you, how would you differentiate the philosophy that Jeevan Vidya has and the, the philosophies, how do they differ from others? Finally, uh, our philosophy is also based on the uh, ancient scriptures only. Not that we are, but the interpretation and it is uh, usefulness for the material life is Sadhguru's invention, in fact. So he has okay. used spiritual wisdom and spiritual knowledge and he has put it in the day-to-day -day life. How to put it is his in, uh, invention, you can say. So we are using the spiritual knowledge only. We are using the spiritual wisdom only. But mm -hmm. we are integrating it with our day-to-day -day life. So that is the difference in this, this philosophy. And that's why we always say that it is not one-sided philosophy. It is not only pure spirituality. It is not pure worldly life. Because generally, if you see, people are divided. They, some people are only uh, tending towards the spirituality only. And some people are only doing the uh, material life only. They are only after the career, after the money, and they don't keep, they don't get peace. But if you blend both the things together, if you blend the spirituality and the material life together, what will happen? You will not be only successful, but you will get peace also. Because generally, what is lacking today is they there are many people who are successful, but finally they don't have peace in life. Correct. And that they learned very late and in a very hard way like Steve Jobs, what he said at the end, that whatever I earn, what is the use? Yeah. So finally, you should have a balanced life. Harmonious life is very important. And harmonious life means every every thing has to work in a very positive way. Like uh, your family life should be good. Your career should be good. Your health should be good. Your social life should be good. And your social interaction should be very good. If you have everything like this, then you really live the life. And then only you will get True. the peace, peace, contentment, whatever you say, that only mm -hmm. you should get. But generally what is happening, people are fully after a career. They don't look after their health. They don't look after their family. And, and finally, they always, uh, there is no, they are always stressed. So all these successful people, they are all stressed. They don't have any peace. So what we guarantee or what Jivan Vidya is different, that they will give the success, prosperity, everything, but with peace and contentment. That is very, that is a difference. So you will get both. You'll get the peace. At the same time, you'll get the success also. You'll get a good relationship with the people. You will have a very good relationship in the life, corporate life also, in company, business. So we are giving all the strategies. See, we have developed the different strategies and that we tell people that you practice these strategies and then you will find that you will have a very good relationship with the people. And finally, relationship matters. That is what I always, what I learned from my oh, life. Yes. Oh, yes. Relationship oh, yeah. is very important because relationship with your family, relationship in your corporate life, relationship with your customers, social life, finally, relationship matters. And that gives you the peace. And that's why uh, our philosophy is different because it is a perfect blend of spirituality and material life. This is one thing. And second thing, that uh, by achieving the prosperity, by achieving the success, you have least amount of stress, you can say, which is very important, which is good. It, it can be used stress. But finally, most important thing is the peace. 
and you must get the peace in life, happiness in life. And that's what we guarantee along with the prosperity. And very the nice. Very nice. Very good. So what I, I want to use, um, use me as an analogy. Uh, in my business, I am using a technology. Um, and I, I, sometimes whenever I'm making a presentation, I, I try to make it funny and say, hey, I mean, this is a brand new technology that has existed only for 150 years. Um, but I, I go to tell that, no, it is, it's, it's an old technology. But what I have done is I have innovated it uh, yes. so that it can be implemented to the current situations. Yes, same and thing. I, want I, to say. I wanted to say the same thing. Now, it should be useful for the current situation because uh, generations are changing. Everything is changing. Whole life is changing. So you have to appropriately integrate that spirituality in your day-to-day uh, -day, uh, life. Right. And and my card says uh, CEO and innovator. Uh, and I'd say I don't want to call myself an inventor. However, what you said uh, of inventing that Sadhguru invented, I, I agree with that because I want to say that what he invented as, as according to what you said is the methodology of implementing it. So Perfect. he has implemented the process of... Yeah. of implementing that in a very unique way and that makes the philosophy uh, of Jivan Vidya different uh, from that of others so that is a very very way uh, beautiful way um, that you have explained and also you have explained how unique this uh, implementation of the philosophy is so so thank you for that also uh, in how many countries um, is um, Jivan Vidya there existing yeah. uh, right now what we do that uh, we are using social media and this technology for uh, expanding this jivan vidya philosophy and uh, i visited uh, many times uh, in the us canada and uh, we have teleconferences with canadian people then in, in uh, america then australia and india they also i am uh, making a teleconferences and giving this knowledge to many people. And this, uh, even if I am uh, giving this, uh, these conferences are with US people, uh, many other countries people also they are joining. So I, I was told that almost 29 countries people they are joining at different, different con conference call in, calls. Very nice. That is very impressive. And in India, we are uh, running these seminars, workshops, uh, to give this knowledge, we are doing this meditation uh, practice and everything we teach everybody. We have got the Jivan Vidya Nyanapit, that is what we call Knowledge Center. Jivan Vidya Knowledge Center. At university. It's a, yeah, yeah at it's a university. Yeah. It is uh, spread in 10 acres land and there we only give training of Jivan Vidya and uh, very good place. Everybody likes that place. And we go uh, every part of uh, Maharashtra, then Goa, Belgao, then uh, US, Canada. And now uh, we are planning to go to Australia also. Right now we only talk on the teleconferences only. And we uh, we have got many disciples in our uh, US also. So they are running many uh, the character building classes, they do the character building classes there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the US, we do in India also, Goa, everywhere we do that character building classes. This is for the children. We are giving good, uh, good uh, knowledge to these people so that uh, they will have a very good, uh, we call it sanskars, that is uh, uh, impressions, good impressions to these uh, children. Because uh, if you if they learn Jivan with that at the very early age, I think whole life is in front of them to implement that. So we always feel that Jivan with is more useful for the uh, youth. And that's why we uh, focus, uh, we do youth programs, we do uh, child development, we do uh, programs for the youth and students. We go to the colleges, we go to the corporates, we do many activities so that everybody benefits 
of this get the benefits of this jivan vidya mm -hmm. very nice very very uh, i i know it has to be very fulfilling um yeah and, and you have already explained uh, what is the the information the knowledge that is disseminated and and what people get but can you give a couple of examples of experiences that you have uh, seen that people say oh this has changed my life and how uh, what has changed in them what positivity uh, that they inculcated to bring those changes and what were those changes were See, there is uh, there are many examples that uh, it uh, examples of corporate life also when okay. people were in the verge of uh, resigning their job because they they could not achieve their targets and they were uh, really in a very bad position uh, because you know the targets are very important in the corporate life but when they came to us we are given in the different strategies mind strategy we call it because we always say that jivan vidya is a life management and this life management is done by mind management so we give mind strategies to these people so they can use their mind power of their mind own mind and they can change their life see i can uh, tell you there one person who was a uh, very uh, he was working in a very big organization as a marketing director and he was not achieving their his own targets and he mm. was in so much of difficulty that he he was on the verge of resigning the job but finally when we gave him the strategies he implemented those implemented those strategies and what happened within 6 months he has improved his target in so much that he was given the best performer of the year award by the chairman of the company in dubai wow so this is a change in 6 months and from very, that that, from that is a very short day, i mean yeah. very very uh, allow me to uh, interrupt you yeah please this this is a, a, a huge a drastic change yeah in 6 month in corporate life for that kind of a change is is a change i can definitely call as overnight change <laughs> um, so uh, that is is a phenomenal example uh and as we come to the end of uh today's show i want to ask you for every person who will be listening and who will be i i want it to be such that not only does he listen but he also forwards this link to thousands and thousands of his friends and families and acquaintances as well what is a message that you would like to give to the common man yeah see our whole philosophy is uh, revolving around one principle what is that principle you are the architect of your own life that is a mm -hmm. that is a principle around which our whole jivan vidya philosophy is uh, woven into it so when i say that you are the architect that means what sadguru said that you can change your life don't think that you cannot change everything you don't leave it to somebody else don't blame anybody you use your own power of your mind power of your thought you use those powers and they are your powers you have those powers use it and make your life beautiful and peaceful and prosperous so you can get the prosperity from this uh a power of your own mind and second thing i want to stress that your relationship improves that is also very improve very important aspect of jivan vidya when i give these mind strategies the relations between the people between the wife and husband they improve uh, those who are on the verge of divorce they come together these are the examples there are many thousands of examples are with us that while implementing this jivan vidya philosophy they have uh they came together they are not gone for the divorce so divorce are avoided the life corporate life has improved their family life has improved so i think if you want to change your life you need some spiritual backup or you need i would say jivan vidya philosophy which will help you to be prosperous at the same time you will be peaceful and in short 
you will have a harmonious life and you'll get harmony in your life. So that is what I would like to tell my friends. Very good. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, I, I want to ask, um, uh, I think you have the answer for this, but do you have the translation for Hey Ishwara Sarvanna, which is in Marathi, do you have it in English? I, I want to say that, yeah, before we end this uh, today's session, I would like you to uh, say that prayer for the benefit of everybody listening to this. Oh, God bless all with health and wealth. Bless all with money and harmony. Oh, God bless all with peace and bliss. Bless all with wisdom and your devotion. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks to you and also the team behind uh, who has helped us to put this together. Uh, uh, Khade Sahib and, and Prashant and Tushar. Thanks a bunch and also others who have been working behind the scenes. And uh, we definitely want to schedule several interviews with you because from now on, this of course is only the introductory session. But now on, we would like to go into some of the depths of your teachings. Um, so uh, thank you once again. And I want to tell our listeners that uh, you can visit uh, Jivan Vidya. Uh, Dada, can you tell us um, the website? Yes, jivanvidya.org. This is our Indian site and uh, US site is jivanvidya.us. Okay, very good. There are, uh, and... there are many lectures in our regional languages in our uh, YouTube also. Very good. Very nice. So, and if you'd like to reach me, uh, you can write uh, to me, uh, email at sgp97 at hotmail.com or you can call us or text us or even WhatsApp us at uh, the country code is 001, uh, area code 901-849-D. Uh, that is D-E-E-P with my name Sandeep. So that is uh, 1-901-849-3337. Thank you so much for being on our show. Uh, and I express my sincere gratitude uh, for everything that you do. I thank also you so thank you on behalf of Jeevanidya Mission and Jeevanidya Center USA. Thank you very much.